Hey everybody, it's Doug Schauff with the Make Man Your Home team over at Remax Oceanside. In this week's episode, this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to talk about some unique Airbnb experiences here in Maine. We found a couple of like cool spots that we want to highlight. This is going to be really awesome. So let's do this. Hey everybody, like I said, we are going to talk about some very cool, unique Airbnb experiences. We found a few of them. So whether you live here in Maine, you're kind of looking for a cool staycation or you're coming here from afar and you just want to check out Maine, these are some really interesting spots to stay. I'm actually kind of excited to check some of these out too. The first one that we're doing, let me put on my trusty glasses here. It's a tiny house with enormous views of Acadia. So it's up in Bar Harbor area. One bedroom, but it's got two beds in it. One bathroom, the Acadia Bar Harbor area. This would be pretty cool, just, just pack in the tiny house. I can't imagine you want to bring your family of like six to this place, although you never know. Maybe you could set up like a tent outside or something, but this house looks super cool. Um, highly recommend it. And the area up there is awesome. We did a video about Acadia. Please check that out, you'll like it. Uh, find out some great information about that up there as well. Moving right along, this I think is one that I want to I want to check out. It's called Tree Dwelling with water views and a cedar hot tub. I mean, the title has me. I'm in. One bedroom, one bath. Okay, so it's another another small house. Dude, it's in a tree. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Up in Georgetown. That's a great area. Highly recommend that. I bet you this is like a super cool place. I'm going to have to check this out. Oh, it's got a little like, you know, cool like bridge going over there to the deck. Oh man, it's like living in a tree house. Next up. Okay, so this is a houseboat. It's called the Floating Camp Rome and it's in Pemaquid Pond. Maine. That's an awesome area. I believe Pemaquid Pond is up near like Damariscotta and uh, it's a cool area. I've been camping up there. It's a, it's really nice, nice area. I highly recommend just going there anyway, but this looks awesome. Look at that. It's a houseboat. Isn't that cool? Airbnb style. Two beds, one bath. That means there's not really a bedroom. It's just two beds and probably a chair. A little closer to nowhere, a one of a kind eco travel experience, floating camp Rome is a simple but comfortably equipped houseboat that happily lives on Pemaquid Pond in Bremen, Maine. If you want to get away from it all, nothing compares to stranding yourself on a little boat on a lake. Sold. I'm in. Uh, let's see, we're going to jump into your own private island log cabin. I think I'm going to go to all these. Your own private island log cabin. So this is in Monmouth, Maine. One bedroom, two beds, and one bath. I got to get like a boat out there. Check this out. Looks like a cool uh, cabin, but check that one out. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Maybe you got a canoe out there. That'd be awesome. Moving on. Stay on a working dairy goat farm. Goat farm. I said it right. My daughters love goats. I think I might have to take them here. Three guests can fit. Uh, one bedroom, two beds, one bath. This is fantastic. Let's see, this beautiful brand new rental space is tucked behind the cheese kitchen a few feet from the barn. During your stay, you are farm family. Sit in the pasture, use the pool, visit the goats, collect eggs, make a fire, and more. I'm going. Sign me up. Hey guys, hopefully this was fun. Uh, which one would you like to check out? Which one's your favorite? If I had to pick one, you know, I haven't been to any of these, but if I had to pick one, Honestly, I think I'd like to go to the goat farm. Bah! Hopefully you like this. Let me know again. If you have any questions, comments, comment below. And remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone. <laughs>